Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Speed Bridge plugin. So this is a cool plugin which allows your players to practice building from island to island like they would do in like Skyblock or Skywars, plugins similar to that. And you can create courses, I've made this really small one but obviously you can do a much better job than I did and we are going to show you how it works. So over here I've set the lobby and using holographic displays you can create a really cool leaderboard, we'll show you that in a second. But all we need to do is do full slash join and then the map name which is going to be one for me and then it's going to take us to the spawn point and it gives us a random block so it gives us black wall in order to do this and then what you need to do is obviously keep building to the next platform until you get to the end now i've set the boundaries with these glass blocks so like uh, using world edit so if i fall off it's going to teleport me back to the start point and this is being timed so you can compare times of other players on the server and then see who is the best. So I'm going to try and get to the end for this one now, making sure I don't fall off. Um, I've never been very good at this, uh, especially when playing Skyblock, I'd always fall off into the void, which is not really what you want. So if I successfully get over here now and step on the pressure plate, that is going to be 22.952 seconds, which is close to my personal best you can see it's 22.549 um, and then if we do forward slash leave that's going to take us back to the lobby and then you can see my high score is still on the leaderboard there so what are the commands well for players if they do forward slash game and then help it will show their command so you can check your score you can check the leaderboard you can teleport yourself to the lobby you can leave you can spectate and join those are pretty straightforward so if i do forward slash leaderboard it will show everyone which is only me at the moment on the leaderboard now if you do forward slash island help that is going to show the admin commands now there's a few more of these so let's go ahead and create a brand new arena so the first thing we need to do is set the lobby point so that's going to be in the same place so if we do forward slash island and then set and then lobby now once we've done that we can create a brand new map so i'm going to come over here i'm going to do island create and then this one's just going to be two and then now we set a few different locations so go to the start point of your new map and this is going to be set and this is going to be the spawn point once you've done that you can go all the way to the end and we are going to set the end point over here so end point hit enter now the last thing you need to do is form a cuboid around your area so if a player were to build outside of this they will get teleported back to the start so you know give it a couple of blocks e either side and make sure you go up and down so this is going to be position one and then i'm going to go a couple of blocks lower than the map and that way when people fall off they're going to be teleported back to spawn and there we go we've set both points we've encapsulated the entire arena so all we need to do now is four slash island and then finish and that will set up the island and ensure it's completed and then you can obviously do four slash join two and then you could give this a go if it was a brand new map obviously it's not so if we do four slash leave we can leave this and then go back to the lobby now I really like this uh, leaderboard, it's very cool, um, you could obviously design your own, you can customise it, uh, but I am going to show you how to do that now. So the first command we're going to do is HD create leaderboard 2, so this is going to be the name of it. Uh, the first one was called leaderboard for me, so I'm just going to stick to it at the end. And make sure you're hovering uh, where you want it to spawn, so if I'm standing at the ground the leaderboard will spawn in the block, which is not what you want. Um, and then we can obviously do forward slash HD edit and then leaderboard 2. Once we've done that we can add and remove lines as we want. So on the wiki there's actually um, a pre-made one so you can copy and paste all the lines. Make sure you set the correct name of the leaderboard you're editing. So if I hit enter it's going to pop that in line 2. Don't worry about line 1 we can delete that by doing forward slash HD uh, remove line and then leaderboard 2 and line 1. So we get rid of the default one and then you can add multiple lines depending on what you want so you can give players information or you can have a leaderboard the top 10 for example um, you can keep adding as many lines as you want and make sure you know you change the uh, name of the line every time so that is how you create a leaderboard uh, one 
useful command if you have put it in the wrong place. You can do this command, so HD move here, leaderboard 2, and there we go. That is how you would move a leaderboard if you didn't like the place it was. So that's how you would set it up in-game, and that is how you would create a cool leaderboard using holographic displays. Make sure you've got all of the necessary plugins. I think there's uh, like four extra you actually need, so if it's not working, double check you've got all of those. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.17. And if you come down here, you can see various information. If you need any support, head over to their Discord. But if you head over to the wiki, you can see various things about commands. And then the leaderboard, if we click on this one, you can see this is how I created the leaderboard very easily. You can copy and paste that, you can edit it. And that is how you would get a really nice leaderboard to see who is the quickest. And then these are the four plugins that are needed in order to create said leaderboard. So if you want to download it, head over to Spigot and hit the download button. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.